signs that your personal branding is not working for you, and how to test it. Once you have defined your personal branding strategy, it can be tempting and easy to forget about it and move on with your business. However, it is imperative that you regularly assess the effectiveness of your personal branding, and this presentation will show you how. Before we start, it is pertinent to state that analytics can be confusing at first. There is no shame in being confused and overwhelmed to begin with, especially if data is not your thing. But once you take the time to understand them, you can make analytics work for you and your personal branding. 1. The search results for your brand are incomplete or mixed. Firstly, and simply, do some searching for yourself. Use different keywords, search engines, and do not forget to clear cache so that you're getting unbiased results. If you're not one of the top results, you need to reanalyze your SEO keywords and media types. Make sure that only things that are positively connected with your branding show up. This means deleting old content and pictures that may distract from the integrity and messaging of your personal branding. 2. The level of engagement with your content is low. Within many social media platforms, you can track where people are clicking, how long they're spending on a page, where they find your sites, and whether or not they engage with your content while they are there. For example, there is an impressions feature on tweets, so you can see how many people are seeing your content and what proportion of them are interacting with it. Instagram and Facebook have similar features to track the success of your content. You want your followers to not only be seeing, but also actively engaging with your content. 3. Audience is not growing, or is not growing effectively. If your follower numbers are remaining stagnant, you may have a content problem. Again, first check your interactions to see whether your followers are either seeing your content or engaging with it. A good first step is to be more active on your pages, whether it be posting more regularly or in different places or at different times of day, or more simply, interacting with your followers more. Your target audience and followers are specific to your personal branding, so make sure that the content you are sharing speaks to them and gives them reason to speak to you. Using or reevaluating the hashtags you use is a good way to reach a wider audience, and you should check the popularity of different hashtags too. 4. Use the data you have just collected and change your strategy. Now that you have all this data, change your approach to close some of the gaps and run a campaign. The only way to check if your content is successfully reaching your audience and growing it is to run a new content campaign. You also need to effectively monitor its progress while taking into account the changes you made to your media use and your branding. The results may not be instant, but it is important to chart the relative success of different personal branding strategies. Did this make a difference? If it did, congratulations! You have successfully created an effective personal brand. Keep monitoring the data and stay ahead of the curve. If not, you may need to reevaluate your personal branding strategy. There is not a quick fix, and it may take some trial and error to perfect your media use. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.